friends, it's Miss Lisa. I'm gonna get our morning song started while you find your large check-in, your large sleeve for, and your check-in chart. Sharing. All right. Good morning, friends. How you feeling? Do you have your feelings check-in sheet? How are you feeling today? Can you tell me in chat how you're feeling today? And our letter of the week is J. And on the back, we've got jumping jacks. Let's do, hmm, let's make this hard. Four, four jumping jacks, do four. And our <laughs> month is May. The month is May. And the days of the week are days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. What day of the week is it? What's the date that you're working on? What date is it? What date is today? And what about the weather? Hot, cold, raining, snowing. What kind of weather do we have today? Let me know in the chat. We're still talking about gardening. The best time of the year is gardening. And I am sending home a spring coloring packet. Um, it's counting and coloring. It's helping because we're some of my friends are going to kindergarten this fall. So it's good to practice to remember that. And then the feelings check in book that we sent home a couple weeks ago. Do a couple more pages in that. If you've done all the book already, that's cool. And Miss Jennifer is going to send home on Remind. It's called Happy Flowers Guide. It's on the PBS learning video. So you'll want to watch for that. It's That'll be pretty interesting to check out about flowers. And I'm gonna send home a virtual field trip to a rainforest. Since we're going to a rainforest, what are we gonna see at a rainforest? Hmm. What do you think? I gotta write that down. And then I'm sending home an activity is J for juice. It's a J. And you can make it look like a juice box. That's in there. I've sent that home. That'll be some fun little creative thing to do. And you can send that back if you want. Don't forget your name. And your name is, what is your name? Fred. Frank. John. Hmm. Tell me what your name is. And then we're talking about jump. So do jumping exercises like doing jumping jacks, jump rope, playing hopscotch. Um, what other um, volleyball? Because that consists of jumping. Um, 
Do you have a trampoline? You're jumping on that. What else can you do that is outside that would consist of jumping, do you think? Hmm. I don't know. That'll be interesting to know. All right. And our story is called, I gotta get it. Ugh, there it is. Anywhere Farm. Anywhere Farm. Hmm. And our words are oops, plot, a small piece of land, kale, a variety a variety of a cabbage plant. So it's kind of like the cabbage plant. Oh, pretty nice. Has anybody tried kale? We've had kale in some of our, um, they used to put, sorry, I dropped my water. They used to put it in our hot dishes a lot. They used to add kale. You don't do that so much in our, and I don't think that would go over too well. But it's not so bad. Here's our story. Anywhere Farm by Phyllis Root, illustrated by G. Brian Kars. Who is G. Brian Kars? That is a secret question. That's, I have two, I have three secret questions this week. From everywhere farm, here's what y'all need. Soil, sunshine, water, and a seed. And we've planted flowers in our school so your my friends know what a seed is. Fat seed or skinny seed, pointy or round, tenderly tucked in down into the ground. Then you watch and you wait, you water, you weed. You seed, your seed will sprout out and its own speedy, CD speed. And that is true because our plants that we have planted have really sprouted fast because they've had water and sunlight. So they've grown fast. And you'll have an anywhere, anywhere farm. Where can you plant your anywhere farm? Let's see. An empty lot what makes a good swimming, a good planting, growing plant. But a pan or a bucket, a pot or a shoe, a bin or a tin, or a window will do. Plant a farm in a crate, plant a farm in a cup, in a box, on a balcony, 10 stories up. We plant it in cups. Plant a farm in a truck, in a box, on a bike. Plant an anywhere farm, anywhere that you like. Anywhere that you have some soil, some seed, some sunshine and water, that's all that you'll need for your anywhere, anywhere, anywhere farm. So you could plant uh, something in your own house, like in a pot or a pan if you had an old pan. When my daughter was growing up, we planted in shoes, an old shoe that they had. That was pretty neat. What can you plant on your anywhere farm? Kale in a pail, corn in a horn, beets and zucchini, oregano, beans, tomaca, I don't know what that is, uh, broccoli, radish, so greens, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and peas. On your anywhere farm, plant whatever you please. Who might come visit your anywhere farm? You might see a monarch, a ladybug, bees, hummingbirds, cardinals, or a fat chickadees. Chickadees are little birds. Your neighbors might come when they see what you've grown. They might want an anywhere farm on their own. Ha, ah, that's an idea. You might give them some seeds that they can plant in a can, a carton, a wash tub, an old frying pan in a boat or a boot or right in their yard. Anybody can do it. You've showed it's not hard. 
Well, you're with your farm in a basket and mine in a chair. With soil and sunshine and water and care, one day all our anywhere farms anywhere might turn into an anywhere farm. An everywhere farm, everywhere. Where does it all start? What do you need? Just one farmer, you and a little seed. Oh, so anybody can plant anything anywhere. Like I said, you can plant it anywhere in your house. If you have an old shoe, a pan, a can, um, a pot, a cup, you can plant a little garden and some seed in anything in your home and around. That sounds like something fun to do. On our, another, this is our third secret question. This is the one I really need you to hit. What is a vegetable from the story? Hmm, I named off a bunch. So pick one of them vegetables in that story and tell me what I said. Hmm, well, that'll be fun. And our, oh, can you tell me what the vocab words start with? What does one and the other one start with? What are their first letters? And I want you to remember um, to always take care of your room at home and in school. Pick up your toys at home and in school and be kind to everybody at home and in school. Those are three things that we've been really working on. That's cool. Until next time, friends. Bye.